Hey y'all, uh, I thought I'd try something a little bit different. Uh, whilst I'm updating my website, because it's that time of year again when teams are starting to roll out their new shirts, and I like to keep uh, sort of like a catalogue of them all on my website, I've come across quite a few that have stood out. And of course, the bigger names like your Man City and your PSGs and Real Madrid and, and Juventus, everyone will be familiar with those designs. But because I do literally every league in Europe, there's quite a few teams there that release shirts that probably quite a few people will not even know exist. So I thought this is an opportunity for me to show you the shirts that I have noticed whilst doing this, and we can have a discussion about which we think is actually good and actually are terrible. So it's not just going to cover the big teams or the small teams, it's going to be the ones that I personally think look quite cool. Of course it's my opinion, but um, I'd like to think at least one or two some people will enjoy. Um, so I've only done the first sort of A to D in the countries in Europe, so there's only going to be a few countries represented here. But as I add more to the website, I'll be able to release more videos. So if you see anything that's been released already but is in like Italy, it's because I've not got to it on the website. Um, that being said, there's, there's at least a good 10 to start with. Um, some you will be familiar with, um, but other than that, we'll see if, um, if we can encourage somebody to buy something. Um, but let's just jump into it with the uh, first option. So the first is one that probably everybody's familiar with. It's the Ajax shirt, of course they're from the Netherlands, manufactured by Adidas, and it's their away shirt. So this shirt's got a lot of press, mainly because it's really different and unique. Uh, the design really stands out. It almost looks like a re has a retro feel to it. Um, the only issue with it being such a prominent team is that there are going to be so many fakes. So if you see one on eBay for like really cheap, the likelihood it is too good to be true. So if you are trying to avoid fakes, I would probably just advise buying it direct from a retailer because um, yeah, they're going to be everywhere. But it's a cool shirt and um, it's, a, it's a great way to start a list, I think. So, uh, secondly, we have Apoel, uh, separate team, manufactured by Macron, and this is their third shirt. Now, it doesn't really stand out all that much, like it's um, compared to a lot of the shirts you'll see. But for me, I like a brush effect. I just, it doesn't make a difference how big or small it is. It's um, just, just, just a design that I always seem to enjoy. Um, and the primary reason why it's also here is... At the end of every season, Appwell on their website, or at least they have been, uh, they've done really good discounts. So the one I bought, the Applewell shirt, a couple of years ago, it was like 20 euros or something like that, maybe 22 euros, which for any football shirt is a great value. So um, keep your eye out on that one as the season progresses. Uh, number three is AZ. Uh, of course, Alkmaar, based in the Netherlands, and it's a Nike shirt. They've um, just signed with Nike, and this is their third shirt. Um, the primary reason why this one is featured, is, of course, is the colour combination. I think officially it's teal and something called vault. Um, but for me, I, I kind of do like the shirts that stand out. I know a lot of people think they're a bit too um, garish, um, but I, I kind of like the eye-catching um, designs. Um, and I don't think I've really seen this combination of colours together, though I feel like that may change this season for what may be coming up shortly in the video. Um, so number four is a fine art shirt. So of course again the Dutch team uh, manufactured by Adidas and this is their away shirt. I am yet to own a fine art shirt and I think this could be the season where I buy it. I just like this template. It's like I don't know like a wavelength style. Um, I like the colours. I like how it sort of goes black and red and the home shirt is iconic, and I would not turn that down either. But I feel like this template this season is going to be really good, and there's a likelihood that other teams will use it. So as we go through, maybe we'll uh, see it featured again. Maybe with different colours that may make it look even better. Um, so number five, we have... Da -da -da -da. Oh, it's this... It's this say... No, it's Genk. It's Belgium. Nike again of course, third shirt again of course, and yes it is the exact same shirt as the AZ Alkmaar shirt. Same colours, I know the image looks a bit different because of lighting but I promise you officially it is teal and vault again. Um, so if you've already got an AZ shirt like myself and you don't have a Genk shirt like myself, I can still pick up this shirt 
and ultimately it is, is not going to be much different than the other one. Um, so, like I said, this is no excuse not to be able to pick it up now, because I suspect there's probably going to be more than these two that will have this shirt as they get released throughout the season. <coughs> Excuse me. Six. Here in Veen. Dutch team again, manufactured by Jacko, and this is their away shirt. Now, I felt bad because I feel like here in Veen, of course, their home shirt has the tulips. It's iconic. It's, you know, if you were collecting shirts, surely you would go with that. But I am a sucker for a black shirt with gold trims. And this one is a black shirt with gold trims. And there's, in fact, quite a few shirts that have been released using this colour scheme. So it's going to be a very long year of buying this style of shirt, I feel. So if this shirt does come up for any decent price, I feel like it will be added to the collection just by virtue of the colour combination. <coughs> Seven. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. KV McKellen, Belgian team, manufactured by Jatazai, and this is their away shirt. So I've got a Jatazai shirt already, um, and it goes um, Ghent with a T, and it's a bit dodgy because they do like small slash medium sizes, um, which does translate to a medium UK. I don't know if they still do that anymore, so be careful of that. Um, but the primary reason is, of course, you've got the... Um, the, the sponsor, the Telnet logo, which is obviously the, the winking sign, which is always cute. Uh, and the colour combination is just different. It's like a bronzy brown and orange. I think that's, uh, I think that's quite smart. Um, so number eight, we have the uh, Rayeka shirt. Croatian team, manufactured by Joma. This is a home shirt. And I feel like this could well be the best shirt that gets released this year. I mean, look at the detailing on that. Look at the colour combination. It's just, I, I've probably not seen that many more shirts better than this. And I feel so annoyed that I already own a Rayaka shirt. That is already good. I feel like this team is the best at designing shirts. The away shirt for this season as well is, is just as good. It's like a reverse of the colours, the same design. Honestly, if you get a chance to buy this shirt, just do it. I don't care. It's, it's absolutely amazing. I just... I can't even kind of deal. So uh, next one is RKC Walwijk, or Valwijk, or something like that, from the Netherlands, manufactured by Stano, and this is their away shirt. I've not got a Stano shirt. I don't know if they come with tags. I don't know how they fit. Uh, I don't even know who they've um, manufactured T4 before. Um, but the reason why I picked this one is because it's just got a crazy design. It's like a paint splatter slash universe design um, so I think if, if I can get that I'm probably going to have to buy it directly from from the club store I don't think there's going to be many retailers in the UK that are going to be wanting to stock this team shirt but um, yeah it's just really crazy and wild and then finally we have a standard Lier shirt Belgian team manufactured by New Balance and this is their home shirt and again it's like a brush stroke I enjoy the, the white brush stroke on the left, the, the darker red on the right, you know, it's not too much of an interest in me, but I just like this design, it's quite unique, you've got a bit of gold in the trims, uh, and it's a team that uh, is kind of interesting, I guess, uh, I don't have a shirt for this team, and I think by the end of the season it'll be about £30, so I think that's a decent buy, and it's just a cool design. Um, but that's kind of it. Those are the ten. Uh, they're not in any particular order. I've um, they're not ranked in any way, shape, or form. Um, they're just ten that I've seen um, going through. So I'll probably try and do this every week because I spend most of my evenings just updating the website with new shirts. And of course, teams you know that we've cycled through may have only released a home and then they'll and away. So I'll try and keep going back and forth. Um, but it's just an exciting time to figure out what's actually been released and um, what's coming. Um, if you've got any, uh, of course, any questions, drop them below. If you've got your comments, let me know which of these shirts you would rather buy, which shirts on here are just absolutely horrendous. Uh, and of course, if you see the or notice any yourselves, just let us all know, and I will probably be adding it to the website anyway. But uh, any chance that we could uh, we could see them earlier is. Um, it's always uh, exciting. So I'll see you on Friday. My shirt has already arrived. 
it's um, nothing as crazy we've had for a while. It's a pretty just a standard shirt, but it's um, it's a new one and yeah, it's uh, should be should be should be should be okay. So I will see you then. Thank you for watching, and until next time.